Enjoy, enjoy the greatest show on earth. Proud to serve Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania. This is WNEP 16, the news station. Now, Frank Andrews, Marisa Burke, meteorologist Noreen Clark, and J. Christopher Sports. This is Newswatch 16, Midday. Part-time work is in demand right now. Officials say that's because Christmas is coming up, and so are the expenses that go along with it. Newswatch 16's Marisa Burke hit the streets today to see what kind of part-time jobs are available at this time of year. She's standing by live right now in downtown Scranton. What'd you find out, Marisa? Well, Frank, many merchants will tell you that they expect one of the biggest Christmas shopping seasons ever this year, and that means they'll be hiring extra help to combat that. Now, I visited one downtown Scranton store today to find out if they're hiring extra help before the holiday rush. Christmas is about two months away, but several stores like this one in Scranton are gearing up for the holiday rush now, hiring extra people to help out during the busy Christmas shopping season. This year we anticipate hiring between 100 and 150 extras. It's slightly more than we have hired in the past. We're expecting probably one of the greatest Christmas seasons we've ever had. And that means more people being hired. Right. Elizabeth Battle says most of those hired during the holidays include the housewives and college kids working so they too can spend a little bit more money at Christmas time. We have a lot of single parents, um, parents with a lot of children that just want to make it an extra special Christmas. And many stores in the area will be hiring extra people throughout the holiday season. And Elizabeth Battle also tells me that many times they keep the extra help on after the holidays as well. Marisa Burke, Newswatch 16 Live with the Instacam in downtown Scranton. Thank you, Marisa. An out-of-work Union County man has a check for over $2,000 today. When Bill Colley of Milmont needed help dealing with an insurance company, he called Jerry Gartenberg in Action 16, and together they've worked out some of Bill's problems. For Bill Kelly of Milmont, 1983 was the kind of year when nothing seemed to go right. First, he was laid off. Then he found himself laid up in the hospital because of a motorcycle accident. When he left the hospital, the layoff had ended, but Bill's doctor said he couldn't go back to work for at least a year. And that meant there'd be no money coming in. So Bill Kelly applied for disability benefits through his employer's insurance plan with Prudential. Prudential turned him down. I didn't think it was right because I figured these benefits should be available to somebody that, you know, would have been in the same position I was in. And it really surprised me that, that they wouldn't give them. It really did. I wondered where I was going to receive money from. When Bill Kelly told me his story, I wrote to Prudential at its California headquarters. Company officials told me Bill's insurance covered him only as long as he was employed. But I asked the company to reconsider its decision, since what happened to Bill could happen to other people too. Bill's employer also went to bat for him, and about six weeks later, Prudential sent Bill Kelly a check for $2,248, the maximum benefit. I think if it wasn't for you, if it wasn't for Action 16, nothing would have got done. I should have wrote sooner. Well, Bill's employer now offers the kind of coverage that will pay disability benefits to all laid-off workers. If you don't want a problem like Bill Kelly had, ask your employer to give you these benefits or get them on your own. And if you're not getting anywhere with a consumer problem, write to me. Jerry Gartenberg, Action 16. And if you'd like to see that address, it's Jerry Gartenberg's Action 16, Box 16, of Oka, Pennsylvania, the zip code 18641. And Newswatch 16 Midday continues in a moment with a look at the problems being caused by the heavy rain, plus a visit to the dentist to see what's new. There are some unique techniques being used now to make your time in the chair a bit more comfortable. We'll explain as Newswatch 16 Midday continues. What I need are snow tires. What I don't need is a snow job. That's why I come to McCarthy Tire. While I relax with free coffee, the McCarthy Snow Tire team spin balances and installs the general snow tires that are exactly right for my needs. And before you know it... Your snow tires are on, Melanie. Now that's what I call service. Save on high quality general snow tires. On sale now at all five regional McCarthy locations. McCarthy even cleaned the white walls. 
Olive Street in Scranton is open now. This morning, part of it from Providence Road to Capaz Avenue was closed because of flooding. Take a look at it. Last night's heavy rain just kind of snuck up on the storm sewer there. DPW officials from the Department of Public Works uh, say that it was all the leaves that were blocking up the drain. It just couldn't take the rain. Other parts of the area had similar problems, too. This is what Boulevard Avenue at Woodlawn Street and Greenridge looked like. Even our Newswatch 16 car had trouble trying to get through that flooded street in Scranton. Now, if you have a tendency to get a little squeamish on the way to the dentist, this next report might help you out a little bit. As Newswatch 16's Valerie Devine reports now, some local dentists are trying a new type of anesthesia that takes away the pain and makes your time in the chair just a little bit more comfortable. With one quick stick of a needle, Janet Conti of Peckville is ready to have her tooth filled. Her dentist is using the latest in dental techniques, a method of anesthesia that doesn't hurt quite as much or last quite as long. The reason? It's injected into just one tooth at a time and doesn't affect the whole mouth. It's usually for someone that doesn't have very anything major to do. Usually small children are good candidates and somebody that just has an isolated small little filling to do. Janet's filling is a small one, so she's a good candidate for this method of anesthesia. So how does she feel after it's all over? Good. Didn't hurt at all. Do you think that procedure is better than the other one? Oh, yeah. Why? Your whole mouth your whole mouth is numb the other way. This way it's only one tooth. Dentists say that this procedure is a little bit less intimidating, mainly because you're using a syringe instead of a gun. And for doctors and their patients, all that means is that they're one step closer to painless dentistry. Valerie Devine, Newswatch 16, Scranton. <laughs> Our weather forecast is coming up next. I think Noreen is a little squeamish about That's the day. Right. Are you saying that the weather's like pulling teeth? Tonight? I don't know. You tell uh, me. We are stuck in the clouds, and we do have more rain on the way. I'll tell you when we can expect the wet weather when we return. Curls Fashion Plus, the place to buy famous designer clothing at an average of 25% off every day of the week. Sometimes higher. We've been known to reduce as high as 80%. Why wait for a sale when the clothing you want is never lower than 25% off right now at Curls Fashion Plus? Even higher. You get the biggest selection, the nicest items, free fashion advice, and 25% off every day. Sometimes higher. True. Curls Fashion Plus, a true bargain. Open seven days a week on Market Street in Kingston. Life Among the Pumpkins. Hi, I'm Chad Newton. I'm Jane Adonisio in search of the great pumpkin here at White's Farm in Newton Township. We'll take a look at the TV series V. The makeup is so extraordinary it steals the show. We're going to invade the aliens' makeup room. And we'll be taking you to the island of Grenada, a secret hideaway for some of the world's most famous people. I do very little advertising because I feel it is my home. Watch tonight at 7 on WNEP-TV 16. The weather's been interesting. Last night, it really rained cats and dogs, Noreen. You're telling me, Frank. In fact, the grass here in the backyard looks a little bit greener after receiving the soaking rain late last uh, late yesterday, I should say. In fact, we got over an inch here in the backyard, and I am expecting a little bit more rain. Let's check the current readings. And here in the backyard, it's now a cool 55 degrees, humidity 70 percent. The wind is out of the northeast at 7 miles per hour, and that is a damp, cool wind. And the air pressure is high, and it's holding steady. Checking the radar from late this morning, we are picking up some showers, but not, there's not much here in the state of Pennsylvania. There is a shower reported out in Franklin, the western portion of the state, and a little bit of spotty drizzle out there also. But generally, all the activity is over the Tennessee Valley. You notice that there is some thunderstorm, some heavier activity in the orange. This is moving toward us and will arrive later on tonight. We could see a few showers during the early morning, e during the early evening hours over the central portion of the state, but generally it will wait until after midnight. Let's check the satellite picture and you can see basically the same thing. The dark clouds over the Tennessee Valley, they are approaching the state later on tonight, so I do expect more rainfall, but just generally for this afternoon, it will be cloudy and on the cool side, even though there are a few showers that could make it in to the central counties later on this afternoon. Let's check the forecast and we're looking for a cool and gray afternoon. Generally, it will be dry. Temperatures won't really go too far this afternoon, maybe rising just a couple degrees from what they 
are right now at midday. Generally in the 50s, the upper 50s and low 60s, the winds will be out of the northeast and they'll be cool at about 9 miles per hour. And for this evening, we're looking for a cloudy night ahead, some early evening showers, possibly some spotty drizzle, but later on we do have more rain moving in after midnight. Tawanda, a low of 44 degrees, Edwardsville, 48, East Stroudsburg near 50 degrees, also near 50 in Cressona, and Lewisburg, a 48 low for the morning hours. And checking the forecast, we're looking for a cloudy afternoon ahead. Temperatures not rising too much from what they are right now. Rain will come in later on tonight. We're looking for it to continue on and off through the day tomorrow, but it should end during the afternoon hours. The high temperature about 57 degrees. On Thursday, we're looking for a good deal of cloudiness, but some peaks of sunshine might make it through. And then for Friday, it looks like temperatures will be on the cool side. So with any heavy rain possible, there are leaves on the ground and they could clog up those storm drains and the result would be some street flooding. And Frank, along with that, the leaves when they're wet can be very slippery to drive on. You know, I was gonna say this morning, you told me that if that was all snow, we'd be shoveling out until next spring. Uh, Is it? <laughs> I don't want to remind people So we people should count that, our blessings. Frank. Thank you very much, Noreen. Sports is up next on Newswatch 16 Midday. In a moment, more on the L.A. Rams win in Monday Night Football and a look at some of the candidates for this year's Cy Young Award. That's coming up later today. Newswatch 16 Midday continues in a moment with sports. You can pay $60 to $70 for these 100% wool slacks on Fifth Avenue or you can buy them right out of the cutting room at Pointy Pants Outlet for only $20. Pointy Pants Manufacturing employees your neighbors, local craftsmen who manufacture men's slacks for some of America's finest clothing stores. Whether you are buying wool, cotton, or blends, you are guaranteed top quality and guaranteed the lowest price. Plus, you are buying American and supporting your local economy. Pointy Pants Outlet, Main Street, Dixon City. All right, welcome back, everyone. We got some big news coming from baseball later today. Is that right, Jay? Yeah, probably early evening. Frank will know who the Cy Young Award is. Uh, who are you picking? I don't know. It's tough. This well, year. lots of good picking. You have to go with. The, with I love Lopez, although he's not going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> good afternoon, everybody. By tonight, as we mentioned, we'll all know who won the National League Cy Young Award for this season. It's given annually to the best pitcher in the circuit. And the leading candidate has to be Rick Sutcliffe of Chicago. Sutcliffe led the Cubs into the playoffs, winning 16 games and losing only one after coming to Chicago in a trade with Cleveland where he had won four games earlier in the season. Well, the Los Angeles Rams put on quite a show last night on Monday Night Football. The defense played superbly, holding Atlanta's Gerald Riggs to just 66 yards, rushing and grounding Steve Bartkowski's aerial attack. But for Henry Ellard of L.A., well, it was a night to remember. Ellard's first punt return of the game set up this Eric Dickerson touchdown run in the second period. That gave the Rams a 7-0 lead. Then the Rams linebacking crew went to work. Linebacker Carl Ackern jars the ball loose from Falcons' Floyd Hodge, and another Rams backer, Jim Collins, picks up the ball, takes it down to the Falcons' 9-yard line. Let me have part of that shirt. Then quarterback Jeff Kemp went to work, connecting here, as you'll see, with Henry Ellard to put the Rams up 14-0. But Ellard wasn't finished on the night. With 39 seconds left in the half, Ellard takes a punt on his own 31-yard line and bolts nine, 69 yards in for the touchdown. He's a second-year pro from Fresno State, showing why he's the NFL's leading punt return man for the second straight year. Rams beat Atlanta 24-10. NFL medical record this midday, it sounds like General Hospital. Word overnight is that a knee injury will sideline Detroit running back Billy Sims for the rest of the season. Sims had surgery Monday for torn cartilage and ligaments in his right knee. He was hurt Sunday. Kellen Winslow of the Chargers, the NFL's leading receiver, may have played his last game as a pro. Winslow injured on this play against the Raiders on Sunday, and like Sims, it's the right knee. He had two and a half hours of surgery yesterday. Doctors said the ligaments in his leg look like spaghetti. It's so severe, he may not play, play, play pro ball again. There is some good news, however. Denver's wide receiver Clinton Sampson was released from a Buffalo Hospital Monday when he was treated for a concussion, some loose teeth, and a cut lip. It was originally feared, watch this, that Sampson might have been more seriously hurt after he was hit broadside by Bill Safety Don Wilson on a pass pattern, but tests showed no neurological damage and no neck injury. 
Well, the top 10 college football rankings are out, released just hours ago, and for a change, there's no change in the top three positions. Washington holds down the number one spot for the second week, followed by Oklahoma and Texas. Nebraska moves to fourth, replacing Boston College, which dropped out of the top 10 after losing last weekend. Brigham Young is fifth. Then, it's Ohio State, Louisiana State, Miami of Florida, South Carolina, by the way, breaks into the top 10 for the first time, and Oklahoma State rounds out this week's top 10 college teams. The National Hockey League have the night off. Uh, action on the ice resumes tonight with four games. Hartford is at Calgary, Philadelphia plays at Minnesota, Montreal at Quebec, and the New York Islanders host Vancouver, where the Isles' Mike Bossy leads the scoring attack with 10 goals and 10 assists. Early part of the season, not ba bad for Mr. Bossy. The National Basketball Association season starts this coming Friday with six games on tap. The Boston Celtics, NBA champions last season, well, they'll be opening at Detroit against Isaiah Thomas, the likes of Kelly Trapuca and Bill Lambeer. Now, one of the big questions of uh, the Celtics this season will be, can they repeat as league champions again? They did it once before, back in 69 and 70. Players to watch this year in the NBA include the likes of Ralph Sampson and Akeem Olajuwon of Houston, Michael Jordan, big, big power of Chicago, Kareem Jabbar of the Lakers, maybe his last year, Julius Irving of Philadelphia, big question mark, Kiki Vandeweghe of Portland, well, there's a host of others. It'll be a very interesting season. It all starts Friday, the NBA. And that's about what we have for you this uh, midday on Newswatch 16 Sports, Frank. I don't know. I don't know about Sutcliffe. I, I'm not a Sutcliffe <laughs> fan. Pardon me for having <laughs> He is quite a hurler, though. <laughs> he is an excellent pitcher. I will, I will say that. Thank you very much, Jay. In a moment, as Newswatch 16 Midday continues, we'll go to work with a guy who goes to work in a wetsuit. Oh, another hard day at the office. The story of Brad Burton is coming up when Newswatch 16 Midday returns. You can drive away this 1985 Ford Escort with not a dollar down payment and only $123 a month. You heard me right. Not a dollar down payment and only $123 a month. Hi, I'm Steve Maranko from Motor Twins. Last year, Escort was the best-selling car at Motor Twins, and this year will be no different. Only Motor Twins is large enough to get the payments down to only $123 a month. Motor Twins, two locations, 249 Market Street, Kingston, 229 South Main Street, Wilkesbury. And finally today, a story about a guy who makes his living off other people's mistakes. His name is Brad Burton, and he lives in Portland, Oregon. He makes his living retrieving golf balls that are knocked into water traps like this one. Now, occasionally, he also finds a club, too, flung into the water by a frustrated duffer. Well, last summer we were playing a tournament here and I hit a bad shot and then hit a good one and made the miss the next one. I threw the three wood in the water. I said, the heck with it if I can't play better than that. He's got that. You're kidding. He's got it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, Burton does have another job. He also teaches people to scuba dive, but he admits that diving for golf balls is a great way to kill time and also make a buck. I tell you, I can really relate to that. When I golf, even the ducks wear helmets. I want you to know. That's all we have time for for Newswatch 16. Midday for the team, I'm Frank Andrews. Enjoy your afternoon. Bye-bye, everyone. <laughs>